more on Mary Barra's big promotion to CEO of GM and what that means for women in business in general. We're joined by Laura Schwartz. She's a former advisor to President Clinton, a lecturer and the author of Eat, Drink and Succeed. Laura, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me, Michelle. Wow, what a resume of that Mary Barra. Certainly a very impressive resume. And now she has the keys to the CEO position of GM. Now, one analyst actually described this as taking the sledgehammer to the glass ceiling. Do you think this specific promotion is really that important? And, and if so, why? Well, I think it's important because of a couple of factors. One, it's extremely visible. It's in an industry of the automotive industry that's been so male-dominated since its inception. And it's global. But I don't think any one hammer through that glass ceiling is done on just one's behalf. There have been a lot of other cracks made in that glass ceiling by low, mid, and high-level women around our country in America and the world. But I tell you... Mary Barra's sledgehammer has a lot of power behind it, and that's called capability. This woman has worked her way up. She knows the ins and outs. She's worked in different areas of the company. She's earned, and she deserves this role. Now it'll be really exciting to see what she does with it. But, Laura, is this really such a big deal? Are we making too much of this? Should it matter that it is a woman? Should we not be focused on who the best person for the job is, regardless of sex, religion, or color? Are we not? perpetuating the notion of sexism by highlighting the fact that it's a woman. Should it just not be given this was the best person for the job, regardless of sex? You know, Michelle, you raise such a good point, and I would hope that someday the announcement like this comes out, and it's because, oh, well, Michelle Barr has worked in this since she was 18. Her dad was a die cutter. She knows the auto industry in and out. Instead of uh, woman, Michelle, or Mary Barra has been uh, given this position, has been, you know, has earned this position. I think you're right, but I think someday it'll come where gender doesn't come before capabilities. I think in this case she's got both going for her, and... And I think that she joins the ranks of other women, Michelle, that have already gotten that rank. Right. Uh, General Dynamics, Lockheed Martin, the defense industry, the technology industry. I think this well, is just well, one you know, more Laura, first. Well, you know, Laura, you say, you you say that, and you say that, and, at the, and on the screen we're actually looking at some of the top female CEOs out there. But keeping in mind that about only 5% of Fortune 500 companies have women in leadership positions. What more can be done or what more should be done to increase those numbers? Well, you know, I think it really starts with uh, workplace preparation. And academically, here in the States, we're hearing a lot about this acronym STEM. STEM education, well, it focuses on science, technology, engineering, and math. And what I thought it was really interesting about Mary Barra today is one of her quotes is that she's a self-proclaimed math nerd. And these areas of science, technology, engineering, and math have not been as popular with women and girls in school. So I think by putting the focus into STEM um, careers and the preparation for them is a good way to get off on the right path early on. Well, do you think, well, you mentioned that and, and, and that those particular industries are not really very well dominated by women, especially in those industries. Do you think that women in leadership positions are treated differently than men? Are the likes of Marissa Mayer or Meg Whitman and now Mary Barra subject to more criticism or different forms of criticism? You know, I have to say, I've, I, I think that if you put your nose to the grindstone, you have results that come from your hard work and your knowledge behind it. You shouldn't face those pressures of being judged by your gender rather than by your work. And I really hope that Mary Barra doesn't wake up on January 15th when she assumes the role of CEO um, under pressure. I hope that she really looks at it as the opportunity that it is to prove herself, just like every man has to prove themselves in a leader position, ship position as well, and that America and the world looks to what she's doing with GM uh, for the merits of taking this company into the next century and solidifying it as a leader in the automotive marketplace. I really hope that that's what she's judged on more than just gender. Thank you so much, Lauren. She'll be with good company with uh, Janet Yellen, pro probably being confirmed <laughs> yeah. as the next head of the Federal Reserve. So a big year for girl power. Thanks so much, Laura Schwartz, former advisor to that's President be Clinton. Quite a, and thank, yes, quite a thank dinner you so party much. among all those women.
a big dinner party. I'd love to be there. She's also the author of Eat, Drink, and Succeed. Laura Schwartz, thank you.